Hi everybody, this is Kathy from Kathy's Cars. I had a few people ask me uh, how I do my molds, my resin molds, and I thought I would take a few minutes uh, to let you see how I do it. The first one I'm going to show you is, this is the 10 minute one. And this one here is by Amazing Casting Resin. And this one works very quick, so if it's your first time doing resin, don't get the 10 minute one because it works really fast. <laughs> the other one takes overnight, so that one is slower. But I do like this one if I want to get some done and you know I want to be quick about it. So first of all, um, there are two bottles here. And um, let's see, uh, you have to do a ratio of the same amount of two of them. So this one here, I'm going to put in I'm going to put this one kind of up to the, I guess, to the 30 millimeters. And if you're going to add color, this is the one you'd add the color to. I'm not going to do color during this demonstration. Uh, the other one is the one you don't put it in. So I'm going to put this in here. Okay, now then what you do is you take one cup here and you pour them in at the same time. And I actually said that wrong. The first one, the clear one, is the thicker one. You don't put the color in that one. The second one, which is B, that's the one that is thinner. And that's the one that you would put color in. And then next what you do is you start to stir this. You stir it slowly until um, the creamy cumber, creamy color becomes clearer and you'll actually feel it start to get warm and that's when you want to start pouring it when it starts to get warm because that means it's starting uh, to change and you don't want to have a change until you get it in your mold, your molds okay Now I'm starting to feel a little warm, so you put that aside, and then you start pouring. Usually they tell you to start from a corner, because it'll kind of evenly go everywhere. You want to make sure it gets right up to the top. And I have a few new ones here. This is a frame one. I've never done this one before. So I'm going to keep pouring from the top here until it fills up there and then I'm going to do some roses here these always come out really good they're very intricate and the liquid really gets in them for some reason I have a better time with the resin than I do with um, when I do the clay but that's just me I just work better with this one and gotta get it so fills up there. And if you get a little over, if you can before it starts to go hard, I should get up. You can kind of go over the top of it. Like I said, it's no big deal because you can always take that off. And now I have a little bit left, so I'm going to try to do this flower here. That's why I like to have the flowers around me here because when you have extra I never know how much it's going to take. But I want you now to watch it slowly because within a couple minutes it will go from clear to amazingly white. And all it takes is 10 minutes probably could have gotten the wing one I wanted to do there. Okay. Like I said, I did overflow a little bit on this one. So you can always just quickly see if you can pull some of it off, but it's no big deal. You can catch it afterwards. 
Now what you do is you'd set your clock for 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this on here. I'm going to do the clock for 10 minutes. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to wait. Now watch the dress here. It's starting to turn. See that? And they're all going to start to turn. I hope you can see it. Let's see if I can go up even closer. It just, it blows my mind how they turn. It's just so cool. It's like one minute you're looking at them and they're clear and the next minute, see this one's starting. And I should tell you too, um, I don't have a pin right now, but I should have done this sooner. I got excited and watching it turn. But if you see any holes right now, kind of try to dot them out. I mean, this is the back, so it's no big deal. But see, this one kind of went in together here. Let's see if I see any more holes before they start to turn. Just check if you have any bub bubbles. That's when you can go back. See how they're turning? Okay, I'm going to pause it because I don't want you waiting 10 minutes just to watch it turn. So I'll come back in 10 minutes or 8 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. So let me show you. You can actually hear when they're done because they're hard. Except the thinner ones, they take a little longer. You can take them out, but they probably take about another half an hour. Um, what I've been told is the thicker the mold, that the resin gets... The more resin you have, it gets heated, so it molds much faster than the thinner ones. And I thought it would be just the opposite, but it isn't. Okay, so let's do the dress here. It's very easy to get them out. You just pull the sides. And the detail is just amazing. And like I said, you know, they're like ready to use right away. And whoops, sorry, you forget where the camera is. And there's the dress. You see all the lovely detail on that? It's all set and you're ready to paint. In fact, I did this one yesterday. So I have these two. Camera stopped going in and out at me. Then these are the flowers. Same way, you just pull these out. And they prop right out. And look at the detail on these roses. Aren't these beautiful? I should get a little farther away. <laughs> but the detail on these are just wonderful. And even if you overflow a little in the back, um, it doesn't really show. And it's no problem because you can just take um, your sharp knife or your scissors. Look at that and you can uh, trim it so those come out great and that's these two and then let's do this here now when you knock on this it's hard but it's just a little softer but again it still pops out because it's still still solid and you got the middle part here See if it'll pull out. Yeah, it does. It's my first. I've never done one of these, so it's my first one. So look how lovely these come out. And like I said, they're still just a little softer, um, but they will be harder in a short span of time. But I just love how they're so ready to go so quickly. <laughs> and then we got this one here that I did slobber some extra on but again it's in the back so I don't think you're going to see it too much and this is this frame and like a little bit here the extra that I have you know you would just simply either take one of your knives or this stuff cuts beautifully it's hard but it's well, it's even softer on here but like I said it's not as hard as 
the dress yet, but it will be. They were saying, and I haven't done it yet, because like I said, they get hard shortly. They say a lot of times thinner molds, put them in your microwave for like 20 seconds just to keep them warm so that they're warm enough uh, that when you put the resin in, it'll mold faster. But of course, I don't do that. <laughs> Oh, and here, I really kind of overdid these, so this will be a good one to show you. They, like I said, these are these are thicker. And see all the detail in that mold? There's a little bit. And look at the, the detail on this resin. And you really don't see the little bit that I went over in the back. And again, you can just trim it if you want. This one here I'll definitely have to trim. See, it's got all the detail, but see that extra? That's where it kind of overflowed. Sometimes it's hard as it's coming out because my eyes aren't as young as they used to be um, to see that you're you're filling up. You're kind of looking at the other side and you're not. But all you do is just trim it, and then there's your flower. It's fine. And I'll get the rest of these out. These were two that overflowed, but again, just a little trimming, because like I said, it's mostly in the back, and I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> you're not seeing what I'm doing, I'm, I forget to keep it under the camera. These were two little ones on one little mold, getting all my little scraps all over the place here. All right, oh, here's a little one. This is a real tiny one, but like I said, even the tiny ones, the details are just great. But you just have to watch. I wasn't, I was going a little faster, and that happens. I mean, even with the, no matter what you use, you get an overflow. Look at that one. That one came out great. This is a bigger one. But they come out so easy. That's what I love about them. Like I said, for me, this works the best. It's not as much maintenance and no cleaning afterwards. You just peel off a little extra, but you know you don't get a lot of garbage in your uh, in your molds and everything. So, um, so I wanted to show you that. That's how simple, you know, really simple it is. And um, what I was gonna do, let's see, I'll put these. I'm gonna put these aside here get these out of the way put them over here in front of me put down the molds that I've used put this out of the way What I'm going to do is the angel one that everybody likes. I'm going to add color this time. And the angel one takes up quite a bit, so I'm not sure how far I will get in it, but let me see, put it like that so it's like close to me. And then I'm going to try to do the big shoe one here. <laughs> you can see this. I'll bring it over a little bit more. I'm trying to get it all in. So hard to get everything on that it shows. Turn the camera maybe this way just a little. There we go. See that real big shoe down there? <laughs> I'm gonna try to get that. I haven't done that one. I did these. In fact, this is what I did. I did filled these up with pink and then I painted them afterwards. I think they're so cute. But I didn't do the big one. The big one here. And I'm not sure about this little slit here. I don't think I need to fill it. I think it's just for overflow, just in case. Okay, so. Let me see which one here. And now we're going to refill these again. And we'll do it up to the three again.
That seems to work. And do this one. Okay, now what we're going to do is just put in a little color. I'm going to go for blue this time. And I'm going to use the, this is the enamel um, model paint that I use. You can read it, you can see it. I don't know if it's coming through. But you, know, you don't need much, and you put it, you put it in, um, in B because that's the one not the thick one with the um, the resin in it the resin a thick resin so what you'll do is you'll just drop that's good two little two little drops and get my stick here and I'm gonna mix it in here. I haven't done this before. I did it with the one that doesn't get done in 10 minutes. So I'm usually able to put it in both. I think I'm going to make that just a little thicker. One more. And then we'll mix them together. I say to start with this one because it thickens so fast. So we will see together <laughs> if this is a a good idea or a fail. Add in, and we're gonna stir it. And this will help the color too going to be a light blue but I don't dare put any more in I have to go by the warmth because I can't see what the color if it's going clear but they say when you hold the cup you start to feel it get just a little warm Okay, we're going to go with that. We'll see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to do the shoe first. So I'm going to go up here. See what happens. Don't know how level this table is either. Okay, I think it's going to start to overflow. I don't know what that little thing is there. Maybe you can take it off when you're done. See how it comes out there? Maybe it stops. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think there's enough for the fairy here, so I'm going to do the wings. See how the fairy wings. It's supposed to, they have you do it at one end, so then it goes down the thinner ends kind of fills it in itself. Let's see if that goes down. Mm, that little bit, come on. Let you go down. There it goes, to the tip. And let's see if I can do a small. No, that's not the whole one. Well, I could only do the shoes and the wings this time, so let's see what happens. Now this you won't see the white as prominent, 
So what I will do here is, because I colored it, I don't think, I'll wait a little bit. I'm not sure if you've seen the white come through it. I don't know, because this is new for me. I'll put my little timer on here. Clock. Timer. Got it on 10 minutes. Let's watch for a few minutes and see what happens. But see this shoe here? It's got that extra piece there. and I'm not quite sure why. Unless because it's bigger. Oh, look at You can see some white. Oh, yes, you can. So it'll be interesting to see what it does with the collar. I might have to... Uh, make it bluer next time or like i said with the 10 minute one on the whole i like to just stick to doing things white and the other one is the same stuff but it's um it's not the 10 minute one and it's one that it's overnight it's for 12. so i'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see what happens okay the 10 minutes is up so let's see what happened here I'm really curious about these shoes. <laughs> it's a really big shoe. Well, it's coming off really easy. I think it's more, I'm more intimidated by it. <laughs> now it's funny, I didn't put a lot of blue in and I guess when you're using this, I need to put either more in or a deeper blue. Eh, I'm afraid of breaking. I know they're made really well. Look at that. I, this I would probably cut off. I don't know why they have that. But see how nice the shoe came out? I just had that light blue in there. So obviously you would have to either put um, acrylic paint or you'd have to put more. Now personally what I would do here, I don't know why that little thing is in there. Maybe for the overflow. But what is nice is that you can just cut it. I'll be actually need here is I'm not like I said sure why that's there but if you just use your little trimmer here then you're good see you just take that piece off and now all you do is like I did with this one is you would paint it but now this one here, I used the model paint, but I must have used more. And with this being a bigger shoe, I, I probably used more. But with the bigger shoe, I didn't think about that I would probably need to use three times what I used or use a, an acrylic paint, which I think I'm going to try next time and use an acrylic paint because this is what I was looking for, but to do it in the bigger shoe. But anyways, you can paint this, so it's not a total loss. You can paint this. But isn't it interesting how it was a darker blue and then by the time it did its thing, it's just like a pale blue now. That is like really cool. <laughs> but see, I mean, I, I, that's just my, I marvel at it. But that's a big shoe, but that'll be fun to play around with. Put that there. And this one, I didn't have a full amount to fit the shoe. So hopefully it still comes out, but it's thinner. The little heel here. That's what I was most concerned about was the little heel. Oops. Oh, it did. Oh, it came out real good. See that? I just love these. They come out so cute. And then put that there. This is another new one. Let me get rid of this. There, put that on the side. This I just got today, the angel's wing. Yeah, really, I hope these come out. And again, I would I would use a darker um, paint or more paint. And it's real thin at the end here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love it. I just love all the detail. I'm always a little more careful with the ones with real thin ends. 
just like this wing here. Very careful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Get together here. <laughs> Trying to put it together here. Sticking to the plastic that I got. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. That is so pretty. And what you can you can do with this too, you can use the um, um, metallic. In fact, I'll show you here. Well, that's a blue. I wonder if I should use, I don't think I have a blue. But what I can do is do some of the uh, ink of gold and see how that looks. I use a little dry brush. You can use your fingers. But I love this stuff because I used it on my dress here. Um, I made something and I used this dress, but just so you can see, I use metallic paint on this dress. See that? None of it is, you know, regular paint. Now this is gold. Probably what I would do is just to show you is rub across, kind of rub across it. It's like you're just getting like the outline of it. And then you get the wonderful details, but it's not overbearing. learned a lot of this in ceramics and dry brushing and you want to get the detail of something but you don't want to you know I don't know if you guys can see this you know, then you can kind of go along a little bit in certain spots I hope you can see this let me see if I can go in a little bit more so you can see this. It's still clear. And then you put as much as you want on. And like I said, I'm just doing gold here. Uh, you know, you can do a darker one. It's just right now, it's what I got. So, and like I said, I don't know if the camera is picking this up well. I hope it is. Sometimes it doesn't get the always the details. Let's see what a difference <laughs> it is. Real pretty now. Just by you know just adding that Again, I just hope you can see it. And just like same with the, well, maybe I'll try a darker color so you can see that better with the dress. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of different things, you know, that you can do. Now here, this is something I got at Michael's or Joanne's. I can't remember which one, but this is another metallic color. And this is, I haven't used this one, so I'm not sure. But like with the dress here, you see me with the dress. The same thing with a dress. Now one thing with Metallica, the more you put on, the shinier it gets. Like when you first put it on, it just kind of looks dirty. But I noticed after you put more coats on, it gets shinier. So the first one I put this on, put the other color on the other day. It's more of a brown. I was like, ugh. <laughs> Not sure if I like that. But then as I did it, I noticed it was getting shinier. Let's just kind of notice a little bit with this. I'm doing this upside down, so you got to bear with me here. <laughs> but 
it's like you know you can put little you can dress more of the purple and then the pretty the pretty takes a little time because you do a few layers and it's like you got to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing you like the top of the dress like I said the camera is not going to show it as well you're not going to see the sparkle as much The more you put on, then the purple or whatever you want to call this color comes out. I don't know why when you first put it on it looks kind of dirty, but <laughs> the more you put on, then the color comes out. And just to give you an idea, a little bit of an idea, you know, it's uh, that you can kind of see, and then. Uh, And then you can always put a little uh, glitter on afterwards too if you want. I think that's what I did with that one. I put some uh, glitter over it. I used a little glitter here. There's my little get another bit of brush here. Show you. A little glitter always goes a long way. Kind of shines it up a little. Like I said, it kind of looks darker on the screen when I'm looking at it here. I probably should have used a lighter color. But it's kind of a quick, quick one I'm doing here. Just so you get an idea. If you want to play around with these. And again, I mean, you can just paint them too. I just kind of like this. This metallic stuff is kind of cool. So that's the dress then. You can kind of see, see it. And like I said, you just, you put as many coats of it on that you want, to, um, you know, to satisfy, you know, what you want, want it to look like. There's all different colors and you can do it for all of these. So like I said, um, you know, other ones that I have done, you try different things. You try different paints, and you see what what'll work for you, what'll work best for you. I, acrylic always works real good, and then, like I said, I got some of the model paint, and that worked good. So you kind of feel, and you probably have seen in my other videos where I showed you the molds, different molds that I've colored butterflies and how I've embellished them, and 
and use glitter but it's just a, a whole lot of fun so um, I hope this helps at all I'm sorry if it was a little bit long but you have to wait in between and again uh, this was just a 10 minute one you can get the one um, it's the same name let me see here this one here I think it is yeah this is the other one but this is the one that you get that isn't 24 I mean isn't for 10 minutes you know it's about 12 hours and this one here you can take your time everything is the same that I did but you can mix that one and then after you mix it you can add color to it and um, uh, and then you can take your time pouring so like I said usually when it comes to color I'll do that one and I've been the 10 minute one I usually stick to to the white ones and that I can you know I can color uh, afterwards but um, so anyways let me pan out here so you can see our big shoe <laughs> so that was fun and that was interesting though to see how the the white kind of took over the uh, the light blue but it has a light blue cast so but that'll be a lot of fun and, and like I said I I do like the risen the best uh, that's probably just me I just find it the easiest to work with it, it's less mess and I like that the molds come out um, you know pretty hard and um, and that you can paint them right away um, but that's just me I mean everybody loves different things and this is just mine so if you have any questions just let me know I hope um, you liked this and uh, and then it hopefully answers some of your questions I'm not a, the greatest tutorial person to show things so you'll just have to bear with me but anyways that's it guys and uh, let me know what you think take it easy